Welcome everybody to another YouTube video. Today's YouTube video, I just wanted to show you guys the Nike Premier 3. It's a lot of mixed thoughts on this boot, or the Premier 3 in general. Uh, because, as you know, Nike has discontinued making kangaroo leather boots. Um, and their tempo line is no longer kangaroo leather. So a lot of people are upset about that. Um, so people were gravitating towards the Premier, thinking that that was gonna be um, still leather, kangaroo leather, and apparently it is not. Um, I reviewed some in the past and they said they were leather. I don't know how they switched it up, but they are saying that it's like recycled material. So I'm like, is that recycled leather? Are these leather, are they not? I'm not sure. I feel like they were maybe getting away with saying they weren't leather. On their website, they completely changed it now. Before, it didn't say that um, it, they, it wasn't leather. It was still saying that there was kangaroo leather. So people were probably trying to think that they could grab these. Um, but I guarantee if they would have made the temple with this recycled or not leather material, I think it would have been better off if they would have used this material than what they're using in regards to people liking the boot. I like the Temple, I Temple 10, just to be clear. Um, I think it's a good boot and it's made for everybody, essentially. You don't have to be a defender, you don't have to be a forward. You, you can wear it and comfortably, you know, some, and, and not that boots are made for precision, but as far as stud pattern, aggressive, like, you know, how you like to play, there are styles of how people like to play. So that's kind of, I think, where the where the generalization of boots have to be for position because of people's styles of play. If you're a speedy player, well, what helps? The lightest boots. Um, does it really help? Probably not. I don't think so. So let's just take a look at this. This is the metallic gold. And I must say, I was pretty disappointed when I took a look at these, because if you can see back there, right here actually, see that? It doesn't look like this. It doesn't look like this here in the what I have in the box. So honestly, these might be going back because the Temple 2 gold pair, that was a gold pair. Although metallic gold probably, this probably is the color of metallic gold. I'm not saying no but it just doesn't look very gold. Look at this. Mm. See that? I mean, it's barely gold at all. So I was disappointed in, in receiving these. Uh, my Ronaldinho R10 boot that's years since 2006 looks more gold than these. I don't know. They were pretty cheap because my discount, but <laughs> I don't need to keep something if I don't plan on using it. I don't know. Maybe they'll get dirty and darken up a little bit. I, yeah, they're just, it's just too light. It's a very faint gold, which obviously I should have known that from metallic gold. But that is not the question. The question is, what is Nike doing with these then? Are they really gold? Or gold? <laughs> I'm thinking about gold. Are they really leather or are they synthetic? It's pretty hard to tell if this is a synthetic. I mean, anyways, most boots that had kangaroo leather, even Mizuno's, it was just like the toe area. And I mean, I guess that's probably where you just need it the most or want it the most. You know, you don't need a full boot. You need, you want a, a, a better long lasting boot. It's probably better to have synthetic. Premier's, and temples did have problems of you know soul separation here so this is supposed to be synthetic it's supposed to last longer and not do that but um let me know your guys' take what do you think are you guys a fan still of the premiere i'm kind of eh, no not bummed out that they did they switched these from leather but I mean, it would have been nice to keep one heritage boot in the line. 
Um, for whatever reason that they decided to go away from King of Real Leather, I don't know. I haven't really looked into that at all. Um, people are saying for the planet, blah, blah, blah. Well, I bet all those Nike people probably eat meat. Um, but yeah. And I'm pretty sure Kangaroo Leather, not that they need to kill Kangaroos, but I mean, I think they're not like killing Kangaroos just for the leather. It's like a leftover type thing. Or they, you know what? They could have just made these with a calf skin back like they used to in the old days. Why not? Um, yeah, I guess don't attack me if you're a vegan or don't eat meat or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just talking about like what people are comfortable playing with, what they like, what they love. You know, the older guys don't like the new flashy stuff, don't like the Mercurials, don't like Phantoms. They, they just want a classic boot and they may stay away from them because of this not being leather anymore. I don't know. But I think you should still give everything a shot. If, if something interests you, then give it a shot. What is the point of saying no? You know, I don't understand that how people can just automatically say, nope, that's going to suck because it's not made how it was. I mean, if you think about cars, phones, everything evolves. So product has to evolve. The company can't just keep pushing out the same thing. Because then it gets boring, it gets stagnant, and people probably won't stop buying it either way. So I would rather innovate, which I believe Nike has always been uh, in the lead when it comes to innovation and things like that. Uh, that's I think that's the what got me my job with Nike when they asked me, but why Nike? And I said, I just believe that. I really believe that. I really did think that, you know, I've been wearing Jordans a long time. Um, and yeah, I just truly believe that they have mastered innovation and creating and everybody else just follows and that's exactly what i said if i remember this was like 2016 i was like no i believe uh nike is this um you know innovation they're the leading company in innovation in everything they do and everybody else is just copies and follows what they do and imagine I knew I had the job then, and it was the group of people. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, good luck beating that answer. And he just kind of like looked at me like, oh. So I knew, I knew, I knew I had the job right there. But to be fair, I think two or three other people also did, and they didn't do so well in the interview. So I don't know what Nike standards are. Hey, we need to change that for the company. We need to change the standards of how we, how we uh, hire people, if it was up to me. There'd be a lot of people not working. I don't know about or incorporating the design teams and stuff like that, but definitely on the storefront, the store level, which is most people where they get access to things. Not very good, but that's a rant for another day, man. So I didn't really talk about the shoe. I'm sorry. I talked about other things, but yeah. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more. I don't know. I got to do something with the channel. I can't just be reviewing product. But what do you guys think about these? Keep them? Return them? What? Were they cool? I don't know. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.